Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Emmy-winning tech expert, Katie Linendahl. Good morning, Terra Data partners, and thank you to Buzz Aldrin. Was he incredible? Welcome everyone, I'm Katie Linendahl. I'm a technology expert writer, and I love reporting on all things tech. My fascination with tech started very young. I began coding when I was 12, received my networking certs by 18, and a degree in IT new media from Rochester Institute of Technology. So as you can tell, technology has always been a sure passion of mine. And every day for me is incredibly different and very hands-on. I work as a technology expert for a pediatric cancer foundation. I run my own production company that covers tech stories for some of the top media outlets. And probably in one of my most public roles, I work as a contributor and tech expert for the last six years to Today's Show and the Weather Channel. I'm constantly at universities and high schools and also just trying to approach, and, and, and obviously as you can imagine, a lot of uh, females in the sector, how do we get them involved in math and science and technology? Please, don't tell them to go into math and science and technology. Show them what they could be doing. It's going and saying, guess what? You can be underwater with NASA. Guess what? You can be in a hydropower jetpack. Did it. It's amazing. You could be designing that. You have to show these girls and these boys at a young age what cool opportunities they could be making as entrepreneurs or be a part of. You're getting a sneak peek. I actually had this overnighted. This is from my university, the Rochester Institute of Technology, and it's called Enable. And it's actually a 3D printed prosthetic, and it's made specifically for kids. Now, the crazy part about this is, in the past, a prosthetic would cost anywhere from forty to eighty thousand dollars. You know, we're also not just sharing it with you guys here in Atlanta. We also have many joining us virtually. So please give a big welcome to all of those joining in virtually from all over the globe. For the steal and the win of round number one. Can we get some graphic tees up in here? Yeah. Welcome my co-host, General Manager, IBM Analytics, Rob Thomas. Hello, Katie. Come on, guys. Yeah, seriously. No one's allowed to be quiet during the show. Good morning to everybody here at Teradata Partners. Everyone feeling good? So I was so honored to be joining you as your host last year, and someone thought it was a good idea to bring me back. So I was pretty excited about that. We're all gonna stand up, and we're gonna take a really cool selfie, and then we're gonna share it. But there's a twist, so stay tuned. Ready, three, two. All right, so here's the deal. As soon as that, I get off stage, I'm actually gonna post that out. And the little twist to it is, because we gotta get this trending, you guys. I'm gonna be personally hooking you up with some of my favorite gadgets. All you have to do is follow myself and Teradata and use the hashtag TDPartner17. Hi, I'm Katie Linendahl. Tonight we are honoring Teradata customers and their strategic alliances at the 10th Annual Epic Awards. It's interesting though, I've been covering sports and technology for quite a few years, and when people hear that data and analytics are kind of moving over into that realm, they're surprised to hear that, but as you've just proved, those data touch points are critical for better understanding the customer at every age nowadays. Correct, it's things that we've been doing in the One of the places where new technologies are having a huge impact is in the field of healthcare. And one of the big news items that impact last year was Watson. This is something I cover a lot in the news, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. But what makes us unique about covering STEM is really now this addition of arts, and we call it STEAM. And what I think is so important is, as a technologist, as an engineer, as somebody anywhere in the space of computing, it is so important to have that design eye. You know, you say how on one day everything changed. And Todd, for you to tackle a project of this magnitude with Dave, a lot at stake here, a lot could go wrong world of technology is so vast and I'm constantly traveling the globe to find first looks and innovations. One day I'll be jetpacking across the Pacific Ocean, the other day I'm in an elephant orphanage in Kenya, but now it's become so popular and a big part of what I do is obviously the world of wearable technology. And wearables in the retail space, they're projected to be a $70 billion business by 2024. So let me give you a snapshot of what my role's like. I have about 30 to 45 seconds on something like the Today Show to tell people why I chose that particular gadget. One thing I've been fascinated by over the years is sleep. And of course, we're talking about something that all of us do five, eight, nine, ten 10 hours a day, and really we know nothing about. 
focusing today on the innovations that have really wowed me over the last few years. And I want to start with the jetpack because I know I am not the only person in this room that is saying, where's my jetpack? I want to get on that jetpack and I want to experience it. And I had all these GoPros strapped to me and while this doesn't do it justice, I did try to put together a tiny clip. If you're a football fan, you know that there is a spotlight now more than ever on head injuries and notably concussions. Concussions go unrecognized and they go unmanaged. So as you saw, X2 is created, has trying to alleviate head injuries. It is a standard boil and bite mouth guard. Anyone that's wearing this mouth guard, it is gonna track their hits in real time. So say for example, you have a son on the field, he gets hit with really high impact. That data is streamed right to the cloud that's gonna be streamed right down to the clinician or the physician's iPad. And it's gonna say, you know what? You might wanna pull him out of the game. Now we have data and the data doesn't lie. Hey, if I was a girl, you know I'd wanna be Ah! Anyway, that's the song. That's it. Right, that's it. You Now I have a dollar app that I was using the other day that scanned my face, took out all the dark circles, and made me look perfect. I was like, this is amazing for a dollar. I spent tens and thousands of dollars in, in a degree to learn how to do that. That is where technology is gone. Like, that's just so cool. I can any way I do it, right? Well, you hit I can from anywhere in the book. Anywhere, anywhere you want. Anywhere on the Everybody in this audience, a Moto Z phone with a Hasselblad. Oh, yeah. 